All right, survivor quarantine or oh, whatever. You, you guys, you, you in the digital audience, as a reference, uh, if, you, if you watch the Subnautica episode where I referred to the digital audience, please leave a comment reminding me about it. Uh, so we're going back into the Nightmare Zone. Uh, this is week eight, and it's time to read off the, the votes. Number one, Jim Struckman Jr., one of the longer members on the channel, just despite all of the additional subs we, I've gained, you know, Jim is one of the guys that I can easily pick his name out. With 110 votes, it's Fox Week. Do whatever he wants. Get to do whatever I want. What, what do you know? Uh, Avery Hodgins with 57 votes, no flashlights or headlights. Uh, he actually won this vote twice in a row. Last week, he edited the comments, so he, uh, he he was disqualified. So he won twice in a row. Necro... I can't remember. I, apparently, I, pr I pronounced his name correctly. I don't know if it's Necrotius or Necr Necrotius. I, I, I think Necrotius sounds pretty good, or it might be Necrotius. I don't think Necrotius doesn't sound good. I would go with, like, um, Necrotius, something like that. I forget. But I'll, I think all of those versions of the names sound fine. But with 48 votes, it's a sh shark hoodie week. Everyone has to wear a shark hoodie. Owen Warlow, with 41 votes, must always buy something from an enclave if you visit one. And then Necrogius again with um, 40, 29 votes. Uh, Rain Collector, get three more secret weapons. So, I've already prepped this character. Uh, you can see it got constant shooting. So, but there's only one shark hoodie, it turns out. Um, just that. There's just the shark hoodie. So, everyone looks exactly the same, except for the character who's using the baseball bat with the ball cap on. So, the way I'm going to handle this is, since we got this one where Fox gets to do whatever he wants, I actually have a lot of things that I want to get done. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to get all the stuff I want to have get done. And if there's any time left over, we'll go Anybody look for... I use a hand. We'll, we'll go look for, what do you call it? There we go. We'll go look for the... Um, I can't even think of it now. The, the things. The things that I need to look for. So, as you can probably tell by what I just did there... We've got an infestation problem. It's actually taking quite a bit of a toll on our morale. If I scroll to the very top, all of those ones from too many infestations. So, like, these infestations have got to go. Like, it's something that definitely needs to be done. So, let's get a move. Oh, oh. Let's not run into people unnecessarily. How do I get there? Looks like I just need to follow the main road. Oh man, yeah, like, not keeping up with these infestations has definitely allowed them to grow out of control. We got the supplies, though. We got a mixture of firecrackers and molotovs, which should absolutely get the job done. Plus, I'm using the JL-94 with a advanced suppressor on it. So, should be pretty good. I'm gonna cut across the river, since, I mean, or the, the... Oh, got a juggernaut, not that he matters. Because, I don't know, like, you can drive through all the rivers and all the lakes. Like, I don't think there's a single body of water that actually impedes your progress in State of Decay 2. Although I do believe you lose traction, so if you take, like, a sharp turn in water, you're probably going to flip over. But hey, that's fine. Okay, so looks like there's a little road up the side that leads right to our first infestation. I believe we have a quest to help out a community. Yeah, the stranger's under siege. No Thank you. Please hurry. Let's get out of here. And next we'll just deal with these guys. Oh, getting some. So Why are you picking them up? Don't pick them up. Oh, 
Oh, getting lucky with the executions. Okay, we're clear. All right. But now we got a whole hour to get to the jackal, so that's really not even a big deal. Let's go ahead and get rid of this guy as well. Fence is definitely not a zombie's friend. Oh, man. Oh, interesting. Looks like the zombies want to come out to play. That's fine. Let's throw the firecracker near the screamer. Good. Gets him to turn around. And now we will uh, give him a invite to the barbecue. Well, he, he, I don't know if he's a satisfied customer. Really. He took Better off a running pretty quick. And the fire spreads for a very... Oh, let's get this other screamer. You know what? I'm just gonna... It's so weird doing the crouch spam when you're dealing with... Uh... Oh, stomp him out. Stomp him out. It's so weird to deal with it when you're using the, the roll. This carport pretty likely to have a... Material in it. Nice. Bingo. A pretty good start. So it's a nice, optimistic day. Now, I have been working on some of my other save files in order to prepare for more... A reviews? That's that's something I kind of want to start focusing on in the future, is I want to start focusing on making more reviews. But I realize that my community just isn't really in a good position for it. So I've been working on... And that's going to take a moment to get adjusted to, is the rolling distance. What you need to do is roll into him a little at a bit of a farther distance to compensate for it. Okay, so here's the next... Ooh, this is a big one. Let's see if we can get him to... Um, I want to throw somewhere that has a door, and the reason for that is because the screamers can't open the doors themselves, so I need to do one of two things. I either need to go through a window that is, like, kind of like hip height, which, you know... Basically at the height that a screamer could leap out of the building or I need to do it near a door so that the zombies can actually Open the door for the screamers. So let's try right about here I'm glad I can spread some of my good cheer around, I guess, something like that. Let's throw one more in there. I don't see any of the screamers yet. Someone's happy, I don't know. It being, I, I mean, like, I, I, who, who wouldn't be happy being Fox's minion? That's, that's the real question. Oh, they're setting themselves on fire from... Nope, nope. Nope! Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, man, he almost screamed. Which would have made it a little bit less convenient this to loot totally this location. Yeah, so you may not know that, that the firecrackers can actually light the zombies on fire, but they gotta get, like, right on top of it. Barely worth taking. So for me, I consider it kind of... It's more of an incidental thing. 
Probably gonna leave everything behind except for the food. Well, what do you know? I, I took him out to the barbecue at the Swine and Bova. I'll use that. No more of those left. I, I, what was I talking about earlier? I, I completely lost my train of thought. I kind of want that to sell, but I'd much rather have the... But this is where we, we gotta... I'm, I'm gonna be kind of unhappy if we don't have food at the Swine and Bovine. All done here. Okay. Okay, I'm not, I'm not unhappy about it. My expectations have been met. Where I is... Oh! Training. I've got blood plague and won't last, but I've got good stuff here. Come by if you can. It is a quick 50 influence right there. I would loot that car, except... I know my inventory's full. And I'd probably get a few parts, and you know, parts are nice, but... That won't work. Wow. A good thing I didn't get too into the combat there. I didn't realize there was a horde trolling the streets. That's fine, though. You, you can have the streets. And Fox is going to take the scenic route by rolling into a, an assassination. It's like... I'm like some kind of, like, awkward movie star. I'm gonna, like, roll around excessively. It's like our blank Dark Souls. Okay, let's hit the next one. Which I guess is this one over here. This one's going to be a little more awkward due to the placement of the plague hearts, but it's daytime, so we might as well at least give it a try. What I want to do is probably try to cut across here. Like so. Okay, so the infestation is just up ahead. Okay, it's right there. Okay, let's get rid of these guys. These guys are... Oh! Can't, can't grab me when I'm in the middle of a execution. That's not allowed. Uh, more screaming zombies are like mad that they can't get me, so they gotta like call for their backup. Oh, I got the crappy execution. Oh. I honestly think. I honestly think that um, acrobatics would actually just be better if... So this is when Blunt it starts to annoy me, is when I get, like, that execution. That's, like, probably the worst execution in the entire game. I might make a video about that, actually. Okay, back to what we were supposed to be doing. The reason I don't like that execution is one, because it, it just takes so long, and two, you can't control it. Like, it's, it's not like I'm choosing to use that. It, I mean, if it were up to me, it, if Fox could just choose the execution he uses, he would just... They tried to get me there. Wow. Okay, I want to actually burn those guys. There we go. Wanted to make sure the screamer didn't scream. 
Oh, what am I doing? I can fix the melee these guys. I need to put my rucksack away. I keep forgetting to do that. Okay, let's choose my fighting skill. Striking! Oh, I didn't know, I didn't even plan that, but... Things are going our way, or they continue to go our way. Like, overall, pretty good day so far. Except for all these annoying little straggler zombies, just leave me alone. I'm gonna, like, stomp your faces in, like so. Uh, let's take this. Ooh, that's a big one. Yeah, let's get rid of this big old one. Anyways, what I was saying was that I hate that execution because I don't get any say over which execution I use, and there's no benefit to using the slower one. You know, like, okay, it's cool to have a variety of executions, but how cool is it really after you've seen it, like, a bajillion times? Yep, yep, you're wandering around like you're a maniac, and then you're gonna scream. Which means the other ones are gonna hear. And fortunately, despite hearing the scream, they did not detect me. That's fine. Now we're gonna, like, Sonic the Hedgehog our way over to this clinic. And draw the zombies out. I don't think these guys are going to get lured. Oh, they might actually. Yep, they're getting lured over. Okay, let's throw another one. Get them all rallied up for the... Medicine cookout? The clinic cookout? Right about there. Oh, right on top of it. Got him before he could scream. Okay, all the screamers are down, so now we don't have to be so quiet. I wish I could have that execution every time. That one's amazing. That one's okay. Wow. I'm gonna kick you. Now I'm gonna walk away. Okay, I'm done walking away. Alright, that's another infestation down. How many are left? Like, I mean, look, look at the progress we're making. There's still three more to go, but I guess we'll go help these guys. No, that's still not... I'm not gonna lie. I honestly think acrobatics would actually be better if it didn't have the roll. If it had everything the same way it was, you know, the flying attack and everything. Oh, I guess I could start using the flying attack. If it had everything, except it didn't have the roll, I think it would just be a better skill. I, I think the roll just makes the skill better. Like, some people say the roll helps them, but, like, I have a great deal of trouble relating to that. Might as well heal. We got a bit of, quite a bit of missing health. Okay, so what's happening over here? We must defend this position. I forgot. Why am I doing this? Aren't these guys a special? Really, I can't shoot through that. That's fine. I'll just go right over here and get them like that. I'm pretty sure these guys are actually a themed enclave. 
Oh, thought he almost had me. No. Yep, lots of shooting. The shooty, shooty, bang, bang. We'll just get them. We'll take them out. Yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys are like a different version of the Zed Thumpers. No, I didn't say the Zed Humpers. I'm sure so someone was thinking that. They're like, did you just say the Zed Humpers? Yep, they're the Zed Humpers. That this time I that time I did say the Zed Humpers. It's like bones here or something. It's like what is it, like a burn pit with like animal bones? Speak with Wong. Where is this one known as Huang? You! I'm in your debt. Your yep. help is much appreciated. You're surprisingly competent. You should hunt with us. You might learn something. Wow, that's a pretty good deal on samples, actually. Please, take care. I'll take that, honestly. Okay. So we got more, and what I'm going to do, I want to head to this outpost over here and kind of like a little bit of that resupply. I think that'd be a good idea. So like, this week is going to be all about just getting the community up and running, because we got morale problems. Uh, Probably gonna. We need to look at people that we can kick out and resupply. Yeah, find you know more survivors. Cool? If someone out there heard me talking and answered back, yeah, that'd be cool. Because remember, we got all these grumpy people. We need to get these grumpy people out of here and. Oh man, we can't call anyone else in. Oh, so much for those guys, I guess. Way too many plague zombies in this part of town. Okay. Um, might as well repair since the vehicle's pretty banged up. Okay, so that means we're probably gonna actually need to collapse some of these enclaves because. We were not going to be able to summon anymore, and we need recruits right now. So I'm pretty sure I'm out of firecrackers. I'm not, I do have these, though. They're not, they're not as loud as I would like, but we'll bring them with us. And then we'll go ahead and make some firecrackers. This is why, so some people ask, like, why don't I just keep the firecrackers? Because you could just make them when you need them. They hardly cost anything. I'll make one more batch of them. And I would rarely even need to build them if I was, if I was, if basically, if I wasn't doing the challenges and I could keep up with the infa, uh, with the infestations, then I wouldn't even have a whole lot of pressure to build them. So, you know, it's like, unless you want to make multiple trips and just pick up every single thing and bring every little thing back to the base, you know, it's just, they're, they're sacrificable is what I'm saying. Okay, so we do have another quest. What do they want? Guns. Oh, that's going to be a potentially easy one because we could just go to our nearby outpost and then just give them, like, some crummy gun. I'm sure I've got, like, a, just the crummy pistol laying around somewhere. Looks like they've chosen to infest that house over there. I guess we'll get out of here. Try to run away a little bit. Some of those guys probably saw me, but actually, maybe none of them saw me, which is kind of interesting. Not that I'm complaining about it. All right, let's use the firecrackers. Once again, I'm going to throw it near the, the door to try to get them to open the door up for the streamer. Although in this case, it looks like, well, there's three screamers, so we don't know where they all are. Oh, 
Material recycling disabled. Oh, is it electricity? I'll take a look. I, I need to focus on this first. Let's throw one there. Got him. I didn't get the other one, though. That's unfortunate. That means we now have to deal with the additional zombies brought on by the screen, which will potentially make it a little bit harder. Nope, looks like we got away with it pretty decently. Okay. So we got more infestations down here, pretty big ones. Let's go ahead and get them their guns, though. Yeah, let's get them their guns. Oh. There we go. Ah, they're gonna beat my car up, so I'll just fight these guys real fast. I forgot that since I have that, I can actually use the... Like shooting undead fish in a barrel. Like shooting undead fish with a baseball bat? Oh man, they're bringing a lot of them in, aren't they? So one of the benefits of the, well, there are several benefits to the turnaround swing, but the obvious one is that you're able to hit all of the zombies in front of you. But uh, another benefit of it is that if you aren't using a weapon that can knock zombies down in one hit, well then, the turnaround swing knocks zombies down in one hit, which is awfully convenient. Mightily convenient, I would say. It's also why, like, I, I've, I've expressed the thought that the... What's, the, what, what's it called? The, that striking and blunt weapons are basically a better version of heavy weapons. And that's part of the reason right there. That striking can sweep through multiple enemies when you need it to. Okay, so this character's tired, so... Swap out characters soon. So, la you're gonna go on guard duty with this weapon. And I will switch you back to your shark hoodie, I guess. Shark hoodie time! Which, I think the shark hoodie makes you look like a moron, but oh well. Um, who am I going to play? Oh, one thing I've been doing is I've been using this ability over here. The, um, improved fighting, because it's not that expensive, and I, I don't know, might as well. There's, let's see if anyone has leveled up their fighting enough to choose their skill. Doesn't look like it, but also doesn't really matter. So everyone's saying Bob is the new Gregory, which if you're... If you haven't been watching the channel basically since I started covering Stage K2, then you would. Gregory's kind of an inside joke. And I wasn't sure, but what are you talking about? How is Bob the new Gregory? Oh, uh, we just triggered that. That was an accident. Oh, well. Um, so basically, people are like, like you, you might be wondering, what the heck does that even mean? Like, who, who, who is Gregory? Uh, he was a character that I just couldn't stand in Season 2, the Pay to Win Saga. And he became like a meme because... Specifically because I didn't like him, everyone else liked him. They're like, oh, oh, he, you know, he's great. Like, why are you hating on good old... 
you know, it, it, they were all like, oh, why are you hating on Gregory? He, he's just this, like, musician, you know, like, musicians aren't worthless. And I was just completely against him. And, oh, you know, th things happened to him. And as a result, like, the, the community has always harassed me about it. Um, let's give him this, this regular PPK. So we're at 30 minutes, but I just want to come. I'm going to complete this quest first. Then we will put an end to this episode just because. I mean, they're what? Like, just, they're just like a short drive away. And we also might get another recruit. But we'll wait until the next episode for that. So it's like, okay, now that Bob did not have music originally, Bob gained the music skill as a result of. Oh, he. Hold on a second. He, he needs the way. Ah, I'll, I'll figure it out later. Okay, we so need to give you a gun. You. There you go. I owe you for that one. Don't be a stranger. So do I want to recruit any of you? Mechanics that would have been useful, but no. Poker face. What are you like, Lady hey. Gaga? Shopping, man. You all stink. I don't want any of you. But maybe, I mean, I might want you. Okay, what's your bonus? Offsite, okay. You guys really Good stink, so. Well, do I want shopping? So or do nice I want you. poker face? I think I'm gonna go with poker face just so I can have, like, Lady Gaga on my side, and then maybe we can kick someone out. But, hey, we're gonna do that next time. Anyways, hope you enjoyed this episode. Like I said, getting stuff done. More to do, though. We gotta get rid of these guys. Someone said that uh, hostile enclaves are a little easier to deal with. Mmm. Well, I might take a shot at them, but, you know, we'll see. We'll see. At any rate, that's the end of this episode. Like this video if it was entertaining. Subscribe for future State of Decay 2 content. Of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.